hey hi everyone this is smoothie welcome to qa automation classes and today we are going to continue on our rest assured series in the last class we have seen the architecture of the rest assured framework and how exactly we are going to design our framework architecture so whatever you have seen we are going to develop a framework which will follow that pattern and that's how the framework calls will also go right so i'll request you to go through that architecture framework because it is really really very important in the interview you have to explain that only okay so whenever they ask what is your framework architecture what is the design pattern like how how exactly you are following the oh, what are the different folder structure where are the different elements right so you have to explain that okay so today uh, we are going to uh, start about the uh, doing a actual automation like we will designing a feature file and we will be doing the actual automation script development okay so in order to do that what we are going to do so we will first uh, let's go and start our json server right so json server node.js command prompt okay so node.js command prompt open this one and here just say json hyphen server okay so json server hyphen hyphen watch db dot json okay so now if you see so it has started so i can go excuse me so i can go to this url and we can see if it is up and running so let's say localhost column 3000 okay so posts so we have all these things okay so fine so, okay. so this is perfectly all right so now okay close it so our uh, endpoints are set up okay so we can access them so now uh, what we are going to do we are going to first uh, look into this one uh, creating a feature file right so let's first start with the uh, post endpoint okay so you know this post endpoint just now i opened right so if you see slash posts okay localhost colon 3000 slash posts okay so there are this uh 27 objects are here okay 27 elements are there posts are there right so post means uh the, is, let's assume this is a social media and uh, where user is going to do some post let's say the user has done 27 posts over there okay so instead of calling this endpoint as the posts uh, because it will sometimes may create confusion with the http post request we will say user post or something okay so fine so let's go and see so let's first try to create our uh, feature file okay so we already have created our uh, features go to the folder structure okay so features is here awesome so now here right click new just say file okay so which kind of file we are going to design so we are going to design just say uh, posts okay let's say user posts dot feature okay user posts dot feature okay so now don't ask again it will add automatically okay so user post dot feature so first we will write as the feature okay so let's say feature okay so feature is verify the user post endpoint right verify user posts endpoint okay okay verify the user post endpoint for all supported http methods okay okay this is just the uh, description okay this is my uh, feature file and i am just uh, giving the description for the feature okay so after that what we can do uh, we can define the uh, scenario right and uh, let's go with the scenario so let's go with the scenario only okay so i'll just say scenario so what is the scenario we have to give the uh, scenario so which scenario we're going to do so let's say uh, now what is the um, intention here so let's say we're going to uh, hit the end point okay so we are going to hit the endpoint and we are going to verify whether the uh, response is 200 status code or not right uh, if you go to our postman okay so i'm just saying uh, create new post post what is the, this is the gate this is the post call okay uh, 
is the get call uh, this is the get call get all post okay so this is what we are going to do http slash double slash local 3000 slash posts we will say send we will send the request and we will get the response okay and what we need to do we need to verify this status code as 200 okay and we have to verify the response is in the form of the json or not okay these two things we are going to verify so how to do that okay so so this scenario verify the get uh, method call method call returns proper response code okay response pro proper response code okay response code and data in json format okay so this is what we are going to do okay hope this is clear guys so verify get method call returns proper response code and data in the json format okay this is the uh, test case we are going to automate now right so starts with the given when then okay so first one is the given so what is the given so i'll say uh given sorry given doesn't have this one right so um, semicolon so given we'll say user sets the api endpoint so first we have to uh, set the api endpoint right what is what exactly is the endpoint api endpoint is nothing but your localhost colon 3000 slash posts okay so this is nothing but your endpoint so we have to set this endpoint okay so how to set because this one is this is common right this is common for all the endpoint this is called the base uri okay so base uri and this is nothing but slash whatever you write here that is nothing but called as the uh, resource okay so we'll say user says the api endpoint with resource okay so let's say api says the user endpoint with so within the angular braces and we have to give the quotes also right okay right so so what is this a resource okay so user says the api endpoint with resource okay and when okay when what we'll do user hits the endpoint right so when user is the endpoint with get method so user is going to hit the uh, uh, endpoint with the get method okay so after hitting the uh, get method what we, uh, we are going to do we are going to assert right so what we are going to assert we are going to assert two things the status code should, should be 200 right the status code should be 200 this is the response status code right and the response should be in the json format okay then i'll say api should return uh valid status code in response okay so valid so status code also let's parameterize this one okay sorry so valid status code now uh, within the course you have to mention that okay so status code okay so api should return the valid status code in response okay and uh, one more assertion okay and the response should be in json format okay the response should be in the json format awesome okay so these are the uh, things what we are going to do right so now we have to give this uh, values for this right so resource and status code okay so we can give here but uh, let's go uh, as a scenario outline and give it anyway it is fine so i'm just saying scenario outline and here we can say examples okay so for examples we have to mention uh, pipe symbol okay uh, not this pipe okay straight so pipe symbol sorry pipe symbol first one i'll say uh resource okay so a resource okay and then second one is the status code right so whatever i have given here resource let me copy it so that there is no spelling mistake and here i'll say status code okay control c control v and again uh, okay and here down i can say posts okay so what is the resource i already said base url plus resource okay so resource is nothing but if you see base url is localhost colon 3000 slash posts okay so, so this post is not nothing but the your resource okay 
and what is the expected status code guys here so 200 right so i'll say push and status code is a 200 okay this is what is i am expecting okay so now this scenario outline and these things uh, like i have given the expected values right so what is my expectation so i'll now hit the endpoint and i'll get the what i'll get the response status code as well as the response format and then i'll assert them okay so here make sure i were not validating anything else i'm just validating the response status code and response is in json format will in the upcoming session we'll be going and verifying the suppose we want to verify this one right id is to the title is post to or not whatever author is test to or not test author to so that we can do that we can see in the latter cases so this is just the basic assertion we are doing okay so now uh, for all of them we have to create the step definition right so because we have not have created any step definition till now okay so now if you see in java step definitions are here okay fine so create step definition uh file name okay so my step definition it is saying okay let's go and just uh, uh create okay file type and directory i can say inside the step definitions okay so go inside the step definitions okay and uh, i'll say instead of saying my step definition i'll say i'll give some valid uh, step definition name right so let's say user post uh, step definition okay user post step definition user posts step def okay user post step def i think this is fine okay and this is java class okay so let's say if it is creating here or not yes okay so if you see it is created user post step definition inside the step definition okay so now uh, given user says the uh, api endpoint with the string okay public void user says the api endpoint with the resource okay so so string uh this so here we have to capture that one right so if you see uh here the resources parameter is here so that part is passed from the example so we have to capture it right so how to capture we can say string resource here right so just capture it with the string and sorry string and say a resource okay easy to see okay so let's say string resource okay and uh, the actual call will be making shortly okay so leave it uh, don't implement it we'll we'll be implementing it so now what we can do we can similarly create the endpoints for like uh, step definition for the each of the points okay so now user hits the endpoint create step definition so inside user post step definition so go there and create okay this is also done and now api should return the valid status code in the response okay so create step definition so this is also done okay and here also we have to get it right so because everything is passed in the form of the string so here also we can say uh, string expected status code okay string i'll say expected status code okay expected status code status okay expected status code okay and here also we have to write that one we'll do that but uh, one more step is there let's generate that also create step definition okay so response should be in the json format okay awesome so now if you see for each of the uh, uh what is that steps in scenario outline we have the corresponding uh step depths defined okay so now this step depth is nothing but the uh glue it is also called as the glue code between your feature file and the corresponding page class uh, like in a uh, ui we say the page class and here we'll say the what we'll say the api classes okay so <clears throat> so in that case what we need to do we need to uh, create right so we need to create a, a api class and there we have to design all those methods okay so let's say api user says the api endpoint with the string okay string resources passed over here and uh, user hits the uh, endpoint with the get method and uh, api should return the valid status code in response and uh, response should be in the json pattern awesome so <clears throat> so that's all to this session guys if you guys are really enjoying my uh, sessions i'll request you to subscribe to my channel and please share them with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get benefited out of it 
and uh, if you have any questions just put them in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible and uh, uh, if you are really enjoying this session please like the content okay and uh, please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to q automation classes for more exciting cool playlist right we have already completed a lot of uh, cool playlist also there are upcoming playlists are there so stay tuned to q automation classes guys thank you everyone bye bye